In this example, we will use Thermoflow as a tool to analyze a helium compressor. Helium is compressed from 100 kilopascals and 300 degrees Kelvin to 500 kilopascals and 650 degrees K. Uh, we know that there is a heat loss of 26.6 kilowatts associated uh, with this process and neglecting kinetic energy changes, we want to determine uh, the actual power input required for a mass flow rate of 80 kilograms per minute, the isentropic efficiency of the compressor, the reversible power input for the compressor, the second law efficiency, and the rate at which exergy is destroyed during this process. First we start thermal flow, then we click on create model, give it a name, like HE comp, and then click on save. The file name exists, so we overwrite it. Now we go choose thermodynamic components. Now we pick compressor and place on the canvas. Now we need an endpoint at one side to be the inlet and another endpoint for the outlet. Now we just connect the parts together. The outlet to the inlet of the next endpoint. Now right click on any connection point to select the fluid. Water is the default, double click on it so we change from the list of NIST materials to helium. Now double click on the inlet, give it a name, inlet, set mass flow rate to 80 kilograms per minute. Now we set the pressure, click on the pressure, set 100, set the unit to kilopascal. Temperature set to 300 degrees Kelvin. Press apply. Now we set the outlet conditions. Double click on the outlet, give it a name, we set the pressure to 500 kilopascal. Now we set the temperature to 650 degrees K. And apply. Now to set the compressor properties, double click on the compressor. Uh, there is a heat loss of 26.6, so we have to use negative 26.6 kilowatts and we uncheck the efficiency to calculate it. Uh, you can set the surroundings to 20 degrees for second law calculations. Press apply. Now we're ready to run. Click on run and uh, the results ready and if you right click on the compressor we can see the abbreviated results shows the power in and uh, efficiency, isentropic efficiency. Uh, there is no kinetic energy, energy and potential energy we, because we chose to ignore uh, those things. Now let's say we wanted to include kinetic energy. So double click on the compressor and we go to the inlet and outlet conditions and we just enter the area, let's say 0.5 meters squared. Now there is enough information to calculate the velocity, so kinetic en energy will be included. You run again, and we have the results. Again, if now you look at the compressor results, and you see there is 149 0.58 watts of uh, loss in kinetic energy, which is clearly negligible. To view the detailed results, we open the out file. We can see the thermodynamics results are displayed here. 
the first section uh, has the properties at all the nodes. You can see the pressure, temperature, specific volume, internal energy, enthalpy, entropy, and quality. Uh, note that 999 denotes uh, superheated vapor or gas. Uh, mass flow rate is displayed here, volumetric flow rate, and velocity is calculated because we provided the area uh, for the inlet and the outlet. The second section is the um, component results. Here we only have a compressor. Uh, the heat loss we provided as 26.6 kilowatts. Uh, the work in or power input is calculated to be 2.4515 uh, megawatts and uh, the isentropic efficiency is 76.6 percent uh, and uh, we can see the second law efficiency is 88.188 percent and uh, the reversible work or reversible power is 2.16197 megawatts of course the rate of exergy destruction is the difference between the actual work and the reversible work.